Hey guys, it's Ty Ty Customs Mox here, and today I'm proud to present my custom Lego minifigure showcase for Ant-Man and the Wasp. Now, I haven't done a very professional looking showcase like this in a while, but I finally decided for these figures, you know, I should get back into it. I, I might even redo the Deadpool showcase. Who knows, but yeah, as you can see, I got two minifigures here, Ant-Man and the Wasp. For Ant-Man and the Wasp, which is like the name of the title, so I decided, you know, I'm going to make Ant-Man and the Wasp. So, yeah, I'm glad I got this out pretty close to release date. I finished these figures Friday, and I think the last time I got uh, figures this close to a release date was Infinity War, which was like a week after, so... I'm um, kind of up in my game here, and I, I managed to fin finish these figures in like two weeks, so that was nice. And yeah, so let's get on to the showcase. Starting off first with the guy whose name is first in the title, Ant-Man. And you can see this guy also incorporated uh, fabric design all throughout him, like I did on my Deadpool which was also inspired by Wave Films Daredevil. Uh, link to him in the description. But you're probably wondering, how did you do the helmet? And I'm going to give you a straightforward answer. Uh, it was not an Ant-Man helmet, like you'd expect. It was actually a uh, space helmet right here. I do have the original Ant-Man helmet, but since that... Like, so rare, and now I didn't really want to buy a new one because they were pretty expensive. I just decided to make my own Ant-Man helmet. So, basically what I did is I took one of these space helmets and one of these transparent visor pieces. I had to sharpie the visor red because they didn't come in this red, or at least not from the seller I was buying from. I didn't want to have to make a whole nother order just so I could get them in red. So that was actually sharpied red, so it's still kind of transparent, but that was cut up and uh, jammed in here, which this was sanded down like heavily to make it pointier here and flatter on the sides. Also sanded on the top a little bit. You can see his mouth right here isn't as like conical as the wasp. It's like, oh jeez. It's like kind of squashed a little bit. You can see right here on the wasp. It focus, focuses. Well, you can see right there that it's like pointier. So I wasn't able to get that with this Ant-Man helmet, but I didn't really care too much because I mean the painting here worked pretty well. I was all painted up in a silver color, sculpted around the eyes. Uh, this stuff was made out of a gift card with e-tape put onto it on the top of it because e-tape worked better than like the, I don't know, it's a long story, but these are also e-tape connecting like the uh, antenna to the respirator, which I think it's a respirator, I'm not sure. But yeah, you can see these Red stripes were painted on, dark gray highlights running throughout, sign on the back. And yeah, that's about it for his helmet. Uh, that was the last part of this figure I got done actually, so it was pretty challenging, but I got it figured out. His belt was made out of metal, just cut up metal here, metal on the back. And then this was, this backpack part was a combination of E-Tape and dried Procreate, so that's there. And then use the fabric on the torso with light red, light metallic red highlights running throughout because the suit does have like a metallic thing, so it's actually metallic dark red and then metallic red mixed in, which is probably a bit darker than should be, but if you look right here, it's pretty dark, so. Yeah, and then, 
He's got gray outlines everywhere. Uh, silver outlines most of these uh, fabric fabric parts. Uh, he's got metal for his gauntlets. These are e tape right here. And then he's just got basic shoe design painted on right there. Some lines going around here. Stuff in the back. He also has a Scott Lang Paul Rudhead painted up the back, which is just a modified Chris Pratt head where I slightly changed the eyes and then painted a new mouth and beard. And I think it looks kind of decent, but I, I plan on displaying this guy with his helmet on mostly, so you can't really tell how bad it looks. But yeah, I painted the mouth on the eyes. And then I just kept the angry expression with the cheekbones erased. It's kind of scratching off, but whatever. And yeah, I think that's about it for Ant-Man. Now let's go on to the Wasp. So Wasp was a kind of challenging figure, but not really once I got her working on. The wings were a bit challenging, but we'll get to that. So the head, the helmet was the same design as Ant-Man's with the uh, like space helmet and visor combo, except the this visor was actually yellow to begin with, so I didn't have to like sharpie it like I did with Ant-Man's, but since this was my second time doing it, I was able to like fix a lot of things that I didn't like too much about Ant-Man's helmet. So I think it turned out a bit nicer in like shape and stuff. But yeah, you can see I used like uh like a what what's it called? Like like a tag from like clothing. I used that for the, I'm not really sure what to call it, like the antenna maybe? But, yeah, the, this whole math part was, was sculpted, this around here was sculpted. Put E-tape over that, similar to what I did with uh, Ant-Man's. And just painted the detail all around the helmet, as you can see here. And yeah, that's about it for the helmet. Now the torso was a... Uh, 3D printed curved torso that I used on uh, all my female minifigures, or most of them at least. But uh, you can see that I did sculpt her chest a little bit because I feel like the design on the out outfit looked kind of weird without like the chest. I don't, I don't, I'm not really sure, but just the way the outfit is shaped made me feel that it needed a little bit of a sculpted chest. So. I did that, and then these are also a uh, metal right here. You can see the design does go around the sides. This is e tape right here, and then on the back, this dry procreate, and then all painted right there. And then the arms were pretty simple; they were just painted up like that with some metal on the wrists, like so. And then her legs were also painted with like the knee pads and stuff. You got the designs going along here in the front. And then she's got the same shoe pattern as Ant-Man on her toe right here. You can kind of see that I did incorporate a little bit, a few shades of lighter blue on the legs, like on the shoes and right here because that was accurate to the costume but you can't really tell so yeah and then for the wings you're probably wondering how I did the wings because these were a pretty challenging part of the minifigure so just to get them all into view here these so I designed these on like a piece of paper a tag actually and then cut them out like this the printed design on here is actually from the Parademon Wings, the Justice League set. I had an extra set of those, so I just cut it out and used the design for Wasp's Wings because I think it adds a 
extra level of detail that I won't be willing to paint on. And then you can see the silver was just painted along here. These were accidentally cut a little bit short, so I had to just continue the silver on the torso, which probably isn't very professional of me, but then again, I'm not really a professional, so. I ain't no MGS, but just to give you inside of the legs, not much going on here. Uh, black outlines throughout the figure to make the gold really pop. And yeah, I think that's about it for the wasp. I actually have a head that I'm going to show you right now. So, also has a head that I panned up to look like Evangeline Lily. I mean, it kind of works, not really. The hair piece isn't all that great for the minifigure either, but this was just kind of like an improv hair piece because I didn't really have anything else to use. But I think the face turned out all right, and you can see I have the cheekbones and stuff. The problem is though, the lips always and like the mouth always scratch off whenever you take the helmet off. So I had to record this separately before I put the helmet on, so that way they weren't all like scratched up. So yeah, that's about it for the wasp and. Now we'll go ahead and wrap up the showcase. So that is it for my custom Lego minifigure showcase for Ant-Man and the Wasp. Uh, be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't done so already. And you can follow me on all the social medias that I do not have. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys later. Bye.